Well, the first big news story of the week is that CMS has come out with some updated regulatory information. So for those of you who are like Jeff, who take Medicaid and Medicare uh, in treating patients, probably going to be pretty important for you to take a peek at their new fact sheet. There are some regulatory issues that are going to change. It does look like it's going to open up benefit for maybe individuals who had not been eligible for benefit in dental services prior. So definitely worth a look if in your office you currently take govern government subsidy programs. They definitely are working in that direction to increase adult dental benefit. But the real story of tonight is the one I really want to focus on because it just speaks to my heart. So I think many of us have patients who really want an improved smile. And for many of them, that's an unapproachable desire because of cost or fear or whatever it happens to be. And they want to consider veneers and you walk them through that process and, and you go through um, the diagnostics and treatment planning for patients. And for most of us clinicians, we've spent years perfecting that craft. It's dental school, it's undergrad, it's dental school, quite often residencies, additional training, CE deep dives, digital smile design, COIS curriculum, SPEAR curriculums, hundreds of thousands of dollars of an investment. But you could have just gone to a two-day weekend course to become a really highly qualified veneer tech and then go to your local community and provide veer veneers for your local citizens at a heavily discounted price. And we know this is happening all over the country. It's been in major national news uh, print magazine, news stories on TV, et cetera, about veneer techs advertising their services on social media to provide veneer uh, services to patients at a significantly discounted fee. Well, it continues to bite those end users in the you know what. There's a case in Texas, Chad, hoping this isn't you, but a case in Texas currently for a veneer tech who's now having to be re- jailed. He was arrested for practicing dentistry without a license. He took his two-day weekend course at his local hotel to learn how to provide veneers to his fellow citizens in, in Texas. And then uh, a complaint was filed from an individual, a man who came down from Rhode Island to seek the services of this gentleman in Texas to provide veneers. Uh, his company's called for for forever veneers. So please, if you happen to have an appointment scheduled with them coming up, you might want to relook at that. But he's providing veneer services to patients, well, individuals in the community. He was arrested for providing veneer services without a license, practicing dentistry without a license, arrested, allowed to go out on bail with the assurance that he would no longer be practicing dentistry without a license, and just a very short few days later, he was back advertising again his veneer services and providing additional services to folks in his community. The uh, crime against him alleges not only was he practicing without a license, he might have also been using power tools to perform said license. So now I'm thinking, was he using a Dremel for a veneer prep? Anyway, the individual now has uh, severe abnormalities, as you might imagine, gaps. Uh, broken teeth, he can't really bite or chew anymore, his teeth no longer touch, and permanent disfigurement. So please, I know, especially on our Instagram channel, we get a lot of consumers that watch our news. If you suspect for a second that that individual providing you veneers at a significantly discounted price might not be a licensed dentist, please do your homework. It takes a long time for dentists to become highly qualified to be able to provide those services to our patients. And even then, we, had, we have adverse outcomes. Even then, things don't always go the way we hope. But fast forward and put that in the hands of someone who's not qualified, who doesn't understand an adverse outcomes or how to troubleshoot when things don't go the way they want or heaven forbid, doesn't even understand the biological components of what they're working on. And you're going to allow them to operate on what I think is one of the most sensitive and vulnerable areas of the body, just because it costs you a couple thousand dollars less. 
Maybe it's just not the right time for veneers. Maybe you wait for the individual who's highly qualified, who can provide the service to you that you deserve and will warranty that and see it through to the end. And with that, that's the news.